Discussing with the Taiwan EPA, um, environmental groups like Taiwan Zero Waste, Rethink, and others, we always think that even if we can get a lot of uh, money from the international tobacco industry, we still think most of the money should be put into environmental education, not just cleanup, because we have to deal with the source. and. Uh, the source, when I mention here, is about the smoking uh, habits of those smokers. Because uh, during my previous three talks, I communicate with many smokers, and I found that most of them do not know actually those tobacco filters are made by plastic. They think they are made by cotton, of paper and that is the main reason why they just throw it away because they think those materials will decompose easily and very fast in the nature but which is not because uh, more than 95% uh, of all those uh, uh, cigarette filters are made by uh, plastics and this kind of plastics most of them are called uh, cellulose acetate which is uh, uh, plastic fiber, so they will not uh, fully decompose uh, in 10 years or even 20 years. And during this process, uh, decades of years, uh, they will uh, break down into smaller and smaller microfibers, which will uh, have a much more important impact on our rivers, our sea, and our marine food chain or whole ecosystem. Since 2018, our government has banned 
uh, free plastic bags in several places. For example, like their own government buildings, like malls and supermarkets, like department stores, uh, convenience stores like 7-Eleven, and um, bookstores and even pharmacies. All those categories, they cannot give uh, plastic bags to customers for free. And uh, since these two years, 2019 and 2020, uh, more and more uh, stores that is not re uh, regulated by this law, they also voluntarily uh, decided not to give f p uh, free plastic bags. initiated a flash mob activity. This kind of flash mob activity is aimed at uh, buying plastic free in those traditional stores. So uh, we recruit so people who has already has this kind of habit using uh, reusable uh, containers and reusable bags to buy their daily or weekly food in traditional markets and we will gather at the same time at the same place and start buying in that particular traditional market. We do this for two reasons and reason number one is that I believe there are many people who want to do their shopping in traditional markets uh, without disposable plastics but they just don't have enough, enough courage to do it on their own. So by uh, buying things with us, we'll encourage them to do it in their real life. And uh, our second point is that we hope to demonstrate those people who are still used to take free plastic bags and let them know that actually using your own containers and your own bags to shop in traditional markets is very easy. For example, like meats and seafoods, you can put them into sealable containers. And for spices 
and also for uh, uh, vegetables, we don't even have, need a container, you just put them directly into the bags. So we hope that by this kind of flash mob activity, we can attract more and more people uh, to shop in traditional markets uh, plastic-free. Thank you. Thank you.